Hi guys, uh, very good evening. Today we are going to upload another very important test route. This is a brand new test route for 2024, you can say. And we are coming from, coming out from Chadderton Test Center and turn left. So as when you're coming out from the Chadderton Test Center, you're turning left onto Broadgate. As you know, Broadgate is 30 miles. And when you see road is absolutely quiet, better to drive exactly on 30 miles. Soon we are approaching the traffic lights, we are going to go straight from these lights and left at the next. So we are going straight from these lights. Keep your car in middle of this tunnel because this is one way system and now you are coming, going left at the next lights. Before turning left about 8 cars, 10 cars before, check center left mirror, signal left, go nice and easy. About 100 yards from here, this road will go 40 miles. But as soon as you know you are going right soon, you don't need to speed up to 40 miles. So we are turning right just before this petrol station. We can use few chevrons, hatch markings to get our position right, to come into this filter lane. Nobody coming other side, we are alright to turn right. Keep going nice and easy here, no rush. Take it like. 20 mile zone because of the speed humps you can't drive fast here soon we are going to approach on a roundabout it's a quite weird roundabout having only two exits one is going straight where you can see the car is just turning and another is going right so we are turning right so check mirrors center right signal right keep your car right hand side here onto the roundabout first exit now you need to check center in the left mirror signal left and come down you can see there are a few more speed humps coming and this road is very bumpy, go nice and easy, no rush. I'm driving like 15, 16 miles here, so you also can drive like that, no issue because road is not allowing you to drive more than that. No 20 miles is written, but because of the speed coming, my yes, we will drive nice and slow. Another speed hump coming. We are driving on Kingsway at the moment. At the roundabout turn left taking first exit. It's a quite open junction. Seven, eight cars before again. Check center left mirror, signal left. 
priority to the right, look right hand side, nobody coming, we are alright to proceed. And there are a few more speed humps coming you can see on the road, so better to keep going nice and easy. I am driving 15, 16, 17 miles on this patch. We can't afford going even 20 miles here because of speed humps. Very nice peaceful residential area, no need to rush. We are driving on Hardfield Road at the moment. And keep your position in middle of your lane. Still driving on hard field road. About 300 yards we will turn left. About 100 yards, we will turn left onto Broadman Fold Road. So check mirrors again, center on the left, signal left. Go nice and easy, it's quite close junction. Oncoming traffic can meet you in the middle of the road, so no need to rush. You can see speed humps again, so keep going nice and easy. This test road is, looks like quite patience tester because it's all 20 so far. About 300 yards, we're gonna go left again. So these are quite big speed humps. You can't afford going fast. And there is a primary school on your left hand side as well, so you need to be very careful, especially on the school time. So after this school, we are going to turn left. So again, check mirrors, mirror, mirror, then signal left. So we are on Moore's Way. We are driving on to Moore's Way. You can see speed humps again. Keep going nice and easy. It's a very quiet sharp bend now, so better to keep your car one meter away from the curb. Otherwise, oncoming traffic can meet you quite in middle. To avoid that, you need to keep your position exactly closer to the curb, like one meter away. We're still driving on Moore's Way. Again, speed hump. When you see a parked car like that, better to keep your car about one meter away from our cars. speed hump
very tight road and you can see so much speed humps to go nice and slow i am driving 10 miles at the moment so there is no problem driving that slow on this patch soon we are going to approach on our traffic lights and we will turn right on to manchester new road you can see traffic lights so on these traffic lights when your light goes green we're going right when your light goes green you just can go right or otherwise left you can't go straight that's no entry so just wait about right here So when this light goes green, you don't bother to look car coming other side because nobody can come other side. So this is just your right of the way. Look on the road. Road is going to be narrowing here. So check center on the right mirror in case somebody is overtaking you. So we are driving on to Manchester New Road. And about three quarter of a mile from here, there is a big roundabout coming. So we'll go right, taking third exit on the roundabout. This route is just over seven miles. We have done three miles, so four more miles to go, just over four more miles to go. So far there is no difficulty on this test route, but as soon as we go on the roundabout, so there are going to be a multiple roundabouts coming, I will fully guide you on the roundabouts. So Manchester New Road is 30 miles. So we can see about 400 yards there's a roundabout coming so we're gonna go right as we follow in sign for Rochdale so look board on your right hand side following sign for Rochdale as soon as you go past this junction check center right mirror signal right we'll keep our car right hand lane because we're turning right at the roundabout beyond the 12 o'clock means taking third exit Keep right hand lane so count exits is better one two check center left mirror signal left position left okay so we are going to approach on another roundabout same again we are following Rochdale you can see board on your left hand side as soon as you see this Tesco extra petrol station you are going left and while turning left, there will be a bus lane which is 24 salmon. Don't go into the bus lane. You are not going in this bus lane 24 7. Bear in mind, if you go in this bus lane, you will fail your test. So keep your car away from this bus lane. So we are approaching another roundabout. We're gonna take fourth exit on the roundabout. Turning right, so checking mirrors again, center right, signal right. So quite open junction, you can see quite fairly right hand side. If nobody coming, no need to stop, otherwise you stop. I can proceed now because no one else is coming. 
So count exit because taking fourth exit. So you can mix up one, two, three. Check center left mirror, signal left, and come down on a fourth exit. This was the only tricky part. Now we are going to follow the road. Look white line on the road. You go with the white line. Don't go straight. Straight is left. So look on the road and keep going along with the white line. The how you can follow the road. Whenever you're following the road, see the white line where the center white line is going. So we're taking left now. From Townley Street, we are coming on to Spring Vale. At the end of Spring Vale, we're gonna go main road again, so turning left. It's like a slip road. So from Spring Vale, we're gonna go left onto Oldham Road. So turning left now, have a good look on right hand side, nobody coming, we are alright to proceed. You can see there's the traffic lights, we are turning right after the traffic lights, bear in mind we are turning after the lights, right. We are on a Oldham Road and we are turning right onto Kenyon Lane. So we are turning right, signal right. After this hedge marking, we are coming into our filter lane. We'll wait for oncoming traffic, but he is allowing us to go. So we are all right to proceed. If somebody flash you as the driver flashed on me, but he was slowing down as well. If somebody is flashing you and not slowing down, then it means he is showing his appearance and it's dangerous. You will not proceed. However, if he stop and making room for you, then you're all right to go. As I have seen that driver was slowing down and he was offering me to go, then I go. But according to the highway code, if somebody is flashing, it doesn't mean you go, it means danger. So you will not go. We are driving on to Kenyan Lane. There's a school on your right hand side. It's still 20 miles again. And we'll turn right on to Sandy Lane after 80 yards. So while turning right here, need to be very careful because two side can cars can come from straight and left hand side. So you need to be very careful. We are on a sandy lane and we'll turn left soon on to Grimshaw Lane and heading towards the test center. At the moment we are driving on to Sandy Lane. Go nice and easy on this Sandy Lane. This is again quite bumpy roads, so need to be very careful. Turning left, mirror, mirror, signal left. Quite open junction, I can see car coming. After that we are alright to proceed. Here we go, we are on a Grimshaw Lane. Test center is about one and a half mile from this point.
Grimshaw Lane is 30 miles. If road is clear, you are right to go 30 miles. But at the end of this road, you will see quite sharp bend and traffic light. That is where you need to be nice and easy. No need to drive 30 miles. You are right to go slow, like 24, 25 after this, these shops. You can see the pedestrian crossing coming as well. And after that, there will be bend. So you won't be able to drive 30 miles in this patch. See, you need to go nice and easy. As soon as you're coming in this bend, keep your car closer to these two yellow lines. Otherwise you will enter in a right hand lane. So don't forget to keep your car far left hand lane closer to these yellow lines and then going straight ahead I hope you understand otherwise you can rewind the video and watch so we are back in this tunnel so go nice and easy in middle of this tunnel and now you keep your car left and lane. We are back on broad gate and going towards the test center. It is very important to understand how you are going into the test center when you are coming from this side. Because there is a no entry, first gate you can't enter, you need to enter from the second. I will show you how you are going to go right in. Because I witnessed one learner going in from first gate and that is no entry. So you need to be very careful when you are turning right into the test center. However, if you are coming from Broadway side or Costco side, then you are taking first left. So when you are turning left into the test center, that is the first entry, that is not no entry. So you can go straight in. But when you are coming from broad gate, it's a second, you're turning right. So remember, if you're turning right into the test center, then first gate is no entry. So be careful. I will show you anyway. It's about 200 yards now. So better to check center right minute, signal right. I will show you no entry. So look right hand corner. There are quite big no entry signs. You're going to enter from these yellow lines and go into the test center. And you can see L plate on the round, on the road. You can see just before the gate there's L and the arrow. This is what you need to follow. Thank you very much for watching. If there's any question, you can leave me a feedback. I will answer your question. It is very easy to pass if you know the area. Have a very good practice and good luck for your test. Thank you very much for watching.